Masonry is one of those trades right now that is growing and they can't find enough workers. It's a great trade to learn. If you want to make even more money in masonry, you know what I'm going to say. Learn how to estimate it. There are three main types of masonry installation we're going to talk about. The first one is a concrete masonry unit, um, otherwise known as a cinder block. You'll see those around a lot. Um, a lot of your shopping centers are built with a concrete masonry unit. Within this, there's two ways to install it. One way is simply just stacking the bricks on each other with mortar joints in between. That's these light lines right here. The mortar holds it together. The disadvantage to that is uh, one blow with a speeding car or something will knock that wall right over. So with larger installations, they would actually do a reinforced con concrete masonry unit. And that's when you've got a combination of wire mesh, rebar going between the joints, and actually they will fill the joints with concrete or some other um, mortar type adhesive. So a reinforced concrete masonry unit is going to be much stronger, but also add to the cost. The one we work on in class a lot is just your brick wall. You can have a single row or a double row brick wall. That's just one or two rows side by side. And in this case, this is a structural wall, meaning the bricks themselves are holding the load. There's nothing holding the bricks up. They're just one on top of the other uh, with gravity holding them together. Generally, there's some sort of a crossover structure that ties one row to the other row, like a wire mesh, similar to what's used here. You might see that between the rows or it might be built on a structural wall in between. The third type we'll see is called a brick veneer. In this case, this is non-structural. You have thin pieces of brick that are glued onto an existing wall. So this wall right here is your structural wall. The bricks are simply glued on. They're more like tiles. I did a job like that a couple years ago to make an apartment look like a New York apartment. It was just your basic drywall wall and we actually literally glued bricks onto it and it looked like a brick wall when we were done. That's called a veneer, which is a fancy word for layer. It's just a layer of bricks on top of a structural wall. Let's look at a means guide for installing masonry. With masonry, you're going to see a lot of demolition. And uh, starting with your unreinforced CMU, that's your concrete masonry unit right here. 13 cents per square foot to demolish. Everything is in square feet, not the ground square feet. But when you look at the wall, how many square feet am I looking at right here? So like eight feet by 10 feet, not how many feet it is on the ground because it would just be like six inches wide. Compare the unreinforced CMU to the reinforced CMU. To demolish, that would be $2.03 compared to 13 cents. Considerable difference. So you can see just from the labor standpoint what it would take to take down a reinforced CMU wall. Um, I suppose if you were to drive a car into it, it would just hold up that much better. The rest of this chart's gonna follow just like everything else we've done. Choose the size of the material you're using. So there's several sizes of CMU blocks you can use. Within each one, you're gonna work within this table. How many square feet is the wall? You need to decide if you're doing demolish, install, or both. And remember on these lines, do not add your demolish price and your install price and then add the demolish and install together. Notice it says demolish and install, demolish, install, right? So you're either going to do demolish or install or demolish and install. Don't, don't do all three of those together because your customer will not be happy. On these, I typically would not for a masonry job include a paint, a clean and paint charge because we don't often paint bricks in residential. Also remember to pay attention to the minimum charge for each job. When you're done calculating your install charge, Compare that to your minimum charge and take the bigger of the two numbers. As an estimator, you have to make good choices about what material and methods to use. If I'm building a 20 foot tall warehouse, I am definitely going to want to use a reinforced product. It has to stand up for the test of time. People will be working inside. There's heavy equipment moving around. It's got to stand up. But if I want to build something like a fence, and we often use CMUs for fencing, probably would not spend the extra money on a reinforced product, so I would use an unreinforced CMU for a fence type application. A quick look at the second page uh, gives me some additional choices. So I've got my masonry wall. These are my CMUs continued. I also have structural brick. Those are your traditional clay bricks. And we've got single row, double row, and triple row. This four inches shows how wide it is. So if I'm building a brick wall, four inches would be the width of one row. If I'm building a double brick wall, 
that would be eight inches and a triple brick wall is 12 inches. Notice how my drawing gets worse and worse as it gets wider and wider. I hope your brick walls look better than that. If I'm using bricks to build something square, like, I don't know, a fence or a small structure, and I'm building brick around on four sides, lovely brick wall that, it's easy to get confused. Our units are square feet, but what I don't want is the square foot of the footprint of that, but rather the square foot of what I'm looking at with the bricks. So in this case, it would be four sides. I want the square footage of this wall right here, plus the square footage of this wall right here, plus the square footage of the back wall and the square footage of that side wall over there. So again, when we're looking at this, this is not the footprint. This is not the top down view to get the square feet. This is the side view of the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So we'd be adding four sides together, together to get those square foot calculations. All right, there's uh, estimating masonry in a nutshell. Good luck.